guys, it looks like a Nintendo Direct might be sooner than you think. Then again, I don't know when you think it's going to be, but we now have actual evidence that points to a Direct very, very soon. And this evidence comes from Nintendo themselves. What? That being said, I do want to remind you that, hey, you know what? Our channel and this video are sponsored by eWin Racing. When it comes to buying a gaming office chair, don't just trust anyone. I've dealt with crappy chairs from Amazon, Walmart, even Office Depot. No, trust eWin Racing, who has a chair just the right size for you. Trust me, one size doesn't fit all. <laughs> can relate to this guy right there. That's why Ewin Racing offers five different size chairs so you can get the exact fit to your height and weight. Don't settle for your local pick up, it's free, or Facebook Marketplace lightly used chairs. Of course, what you actually want to know is, hey, what is this going to cost me? Well, thanks to discount code Nintendo Prime, you can take a chair from Ewin Racing that's over $200 and get it for just $183. Whoa! Is that still a bit steep for your wallet today? Well, thanks to Klarna and Afterpay, you can split your payment for your chair into four payments over four months completely interest free no credit check required that way you can get your much needed chair today so what are you waiting for get your chair to complete your gaming setup right now just be sure to use code nintendo prime at checkout to get your 20 percent off link will be in the description or the additional text attached to this video <laughs> This just happened while I was live streaming, and it, it, it's wild to me that we're even talking about this. It comes from dear friend of the channel, HMK, one of the original six-pack. Love him. He says, yo, the eShop is making moves that suggest a direct could be sooner than you think. There are updated references for both Tears of the Kingdom and Advance Wars, probably preparing to take pre-order soon. This literally is right off the eShop. You can see the name, Advance Wars, Number 2 Reboot Camp, name, Legend of Zelda, Tears of the Kingdom, SKU numbers, ID updates. All of this happens when they're about to take official digital pre-orders. Why would they be starting to take official digital pre-orders? right now well because they're about to make an announcement they're about to show it and they always take the pre-orders after these sorts of announcements in other words there's a direct happening soon and we were able to track these two specific games because we already knew they existed oh boy oh boy guys can you feel it a direct is happening soon now when we say sooner than you think i was thinking the 15th so that's about two and a half weeks from now the 15th Made a lot of sense to me, but maybe it's next week. There's been speculation for a while that because Nintendo's investor meetings on the 7th, they probably wouldn't do it the same day as the investors meeting. They could do it the 8th or they could announce on the 8th or the 9th. So maybe next week. Maybe it's next week. Because next week is, is where things get crazy because they have the 1st, the 2nd, the 3rd. Are they going to drop one literally on the 1st of Feb February? Are they just not going to wait? We're going to get right into February and boom, direct. Nobody that I know expects a direct on the 1st of February or the 2nd for that matter. So it's happening, folks. <laughs> for the first time, all the speculation, the leaks, the rumors, the conversations over the last month. This is straight from Nintendo. This isn't us going back and looking at, oh, their last directs or the last. Here's what we can say. These updates that happen to SKUs in the eShop always happen before they're about to drop pre-orders in a direct. Guys, this is evidence a direct is coming. It's happening. We now know it. I can say it with confidence. We are getting a Nintendo Direct, and it's happening very soon. Of course, Nintendo soon is sometimes three months. But I'm trying not to think that. I'm trying to think this soon means weeks. This soon means a week. Two at the most. I think, I think we're on to something. I think this is right. Are you guys ready? Are you guys hyped? I know I am. All right, everyone. Now it's time to talk about... What can we expect in this Direct? Clearly, Tears of the Kingdom. That's big. We know Tears of the Kingdom is coming. It's expected. They're going to announce pre-orders. Don't be surprised if they also announce a special edition Switch to pre-order as well. All right, cool. Maybe special editions we need to pre-order as well. Different versions. A deluxe version. DLC version. I don't know. Advanced Wars 1 Plus 2 Reboot Camp is an interesting one. Sounds like we're going to get an actual release date for 
Advance Wars 1 plus 2 Reboot Camp. No more keeping that game in the pipe that was supposed to come out last April. Nintendo's going to give us a release date. Likely going to stick with it. That war is still going on. The reason they delayed it is still happening. And it appears Nintendo thinks we've navigated to a point that it's they feel that, you know confident and okay. They're not going to get backlash for releasing it. So, Advance Wars 1 plus 2 Reboot Camp. Finally, we know when to expect it. I was really worried... This would become a vaporware thing where they actually made it, but they never release it due to controversies. Nope, they're bringing it out. They're unloading the barrel. They're letting it go. What else is going to be in this direct? Well, that is the real mystery. Yeah, we'll probably see Kirby, right? Because Kirby comes out later in February. So we'll see Kirby. We'll see probably more of Bayonetta. Well, we might see Hollow Knight. I don't want to get your hopes up for it, but we could see Hollow Knight Silk Song. We could also see... <laughs> How about first ever gameplay natively for Hogwarts Legacy and Gollum? A couple big third party games. Nintendo trying to remind the world, hey, while everyone is saying we don't get third party games, here's a couple bangers. Would be quite interesting to see them maybe push those games heavily. I bring you something new from Square Enix. We'll probably see Octopath Traveler 2. In fact, if it's happening this early in February, we could not only see Octopath Traveler 2, we could see Tales of Symphonia remastered again. Could we see a new Mario game announced for this holiday? Could we see that Metroid Prime remake? Remember all the stuff we talked about in that leaked video? Donkey Kong. Metroid Prime. What about the Wind Waker and Twilight Princess HD? I'm just saying, there's a lot of possibilities. And what I want you guys to do right now is go down into the comments and give me the top 10 games you want to see in this upcoming Nintendo Direct. Right now, tell me what they are. I, I Seriously, I want to know. What's your top 10? For me, Tears of the Kingdom is number one by default. I want to see Tales of the Phony, Octopath Traveler 2. I'm going in order, by the way. Mario, we're going to probably see more of it after E3, but Mario, let's see that. I'll just see a Mario Kart. I know, I'm dreaming big. Metro Prime 4, want to see that? I'm dreaming big. I'm dreaming big. I'm letting my, 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 my hype levels go crazy for one day. I'm dreaming big. So let it be. Let it be. Let it be. Banjo-Tooie for the N64. I want to see it. I want to see it. We got Banjo-Kazooie. I need Banjo-Tooie. Do it. What do we got? Three more to go? Three more to go? And number eight. Are you ready for this? Are, are you actually ready for this? A new 2D top-down Zelda game. Done. Number nine. <laughs> Star Fox. New barrel! <laughs> and a number ten. Come on. You know I gotta do it. You know I got to do it, guys. I'm counting DLC for Tears of the Kingdom as its own separate announcement. Sorry, I love Zelda that much. Three Zelda things in my top ten. You know it. I know it. We all love it. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. You guys are epic and amazing and awesome. Stay smiling, and we'll catch you in the next video.